So in this question we are given two pie charts that each represent the proportion of students in each class resitting algebra or trigonometry. And the question tells us that there are 25 people in class 1 and there are the same number of people resitting the trigonometry test in both classes. And it asks us how many students are there in class 2. Well we know there are 25 people in class 1. And we know that there are the same number of people resitting the trigonometry test in both classes. Well, if we look at the pie chart here for class 1, we can see that 20% of the students in class 1 are resitting trigonometry. So let's find 20% of the 25 students in the class. So we can do 25 multiplied by 0 0.2, and that gives us 5. So this tells us that 5 people in class 1 are resitting trigonometry. But we are told that there are the same number of people resitting trig in both classes. So what we know is there are actually five people in class 2 who are also resitting trigonometry. But this isn't all the information we need because if we have a look at this pie chart again for class 2, we know that 12.5% of the people in class 2 resit trigonometry. And we also know that 12.5% of the people in class 2 gives us 5. And if we find 12.5% of a number, we multiply it by 0 0.125. So 0 0.125 multiplied by the number of people in class 2 gives us 5. So to get the number of people in class 2, the calculation we need to do is 5 divided by 0 0.125, which gives us 40. So there are 40 people in class 2.